We want to start by just finding out what's your, I, I, you may have more than one issue, but what's your biggest issue with Skip? It's not just Skip, it's, it's sports writers, sports media in general, where everything's generalities, right? Excruciating pressure. What the hell is that, right? You know, it was need leader. Excruciating pressure. That's it, what it was. Is that meaning what, Skip? Meaning that you personally watched up close and personal what LeBron went through last year against your Dallas Mavericks. Was it not the biggest collapse of a superstar that we've ever witnessed on a, a finals or championship stage? No. I mean, first of all, it's a team game. Right, you guys like to talk in complete generalities where no one can question you, right? You, you don't ever use facts. You don't ever use substance. You don't, don't ever, ever use, use facts. No. That's all I use on this show. What, excruciating pressure, undeniable this, you know, it's just all generalities. There, there's never been a star under more pressure going into a finals, a championship series or game than LeBron James was under after nine years and three league MVPs. Well, first of all, you have the presumption that people care what you say. They don't. That when well, the guys fine. go out there, when guys that's your go out opinion. there, no, no, I, I'm talking about media in general. When guys get ready to play and they're in the locker room, they're not thinking, okay, well, what's written, what's going to be written, what's being said, right? I mean, they're getting prepared. And if you've got a good coach and you've got a good culture, then guys are ready to play no matter what. Like you guys were just talking about, you know, Miami wanted to, wanted it more or less. Like that is just such, such horse, you know what, right? There's no such thing as team. It's not that Oklahoma City don't want it more. I think Miami was better prepared to play the game than. In Oklahoma City in terms of, of adjustments and changes. Now, if you want to start, talk about double teams and how they were used, whether or not they should have played zone, um, what defensive structure was in place, that's a valid conversation. But just saying they wanted it more, that's ridiculous. Okay. When you get to, when you're Kevin Durant and you're um, um, Derek Fisher and you're Russell Westbrook, etc., and you're at that, that closeout game, there's nobody that wants it more. It's just a question of who executes better, and then you decide why. Who once played you harder in the last games? Miami did every game. LeBron played harder than Kevin Durant did four straight games. That is the most ridiculous thing any sports writer has ever said. Now, if you oh. think when Kevin Durant walked off the court, he thought, "Yeah, I didn't play quite hard enough," mm -hmm. right? Now you can say like he wasn't put it that he wasn't put in a position to succeed. You could say that they didn't write the run the right plays. They didn't get the ball to him on the block enough. And if you were smart, you'd come out and you'd have substance. You say, "You know what? This is how many plays they ran to him on the block. Here's how Miami defended it." Now. You can also argue that the Pat, Pat Riley way is always the same way all the time. Miami played it the same way all the time, and then we can have a discussion, a discussion about adjustments. Like last year, did we play harder than the Heat? Is that what you think it was? No, I don't. I, I think LeBron disappeared and shrank in crunch time of the fourth quarter, and I can just show you the numbers of what he didn't do in every so fourth we, quarter. So we get no credit for not putting him in a position to succeed. Right, we played the Heat. Uh, he put himself in. All he did was stand out on the perimeter. Now, how do you think we defended that? Why do you think he was standing out there? I, I, you didn't have to defend it. Oh, right. So no matter what we did, he was just going to stand there and do nothing. Well, I, that's all I saw. That was that was a lot that's of exactly it. Right, and, and that's exactly right, Chip. And hope that Wade saw. saved the day for that's, him. You're exactly right. That's all you saw. You didn't look, right? Mm -hmm. I mean. And, and that's a complete insult to us mm -hmm. to say, you know what, the adjustments that we made. What did you do to force him out there? We, we had different, we had like five, six, seven different types of matchups in our zone, mm -hmm. right? And we played man-to-man, -man, and we had a variety of different switches, right? So we knew that 90% that of his shots were going to come from the left-hand side, right? We knew that if you gave him room from the left, he was going to drive. Now, we didn't have the athletes that Oklahoma City did, so we had to plan differently. Sure. So we need to make sure that we pushed him out away, and then we gave him different looks every time he had the ball, because just making him, force, just forcing him to make a decision right to think about what he had to do taking the time to read are we in a zone what type of zone we're in how are we matching up what type of rotations are we in making him think made them pass the ball around the perimeter which gave us a chance to adjust right now they're smarter they're a better team this year they deserve to win this year but you know that's the way we played it and so it wasn't just LeBron LeBron actually played it right more often than not he made the right pass to the right guy who didn't make the right play and that's exactly what we wanted we wanted to get the ball out of their hands and into the hands of somebody else who we wanted him to play Michael Jordan and make somebody play Steve Kerr. Now, last night, Mike Miller. They had was, several Steve Kerr. Yeah, they, had, they had everybody stepping up, and yeah. they deserved every bit. You know, so, but okay, you're, not, you're me, talking generalities, and, and just no, to I'm say, yeah, you are. Okay, you spewed out some generality about I'll the players you. don't care. Okay, let me tell you that I, for a fact, and Stephen A can validate this, LeBron James listened to what I said for about, what, eight years? Because that's all I heard. He said I was his Howard Cosell. And this year, for the first time, to his credit, 
he tuned out all the noise. That's all we saw in the finals was he's reading the Hunger, Hunger Games trilogy before the games. He's meditating on the bench before the games. He tuned See, this us is a, out. This is a Skip Bayless special. LeBron lost last year because he wasn't paying attention to Skip Bayless. LeBron no, won this year true. because he wasn't. But that's no. what you just said. Okay. Did he well, not what, just say that? Okay. Here, here's what he didn't do. <laughs> here's what he didn't do against you guys. Okay. He let you off the hook because he didn't do what we saw him do for four straight games. He didn't drive through your zone and slash it up and dish. He he didn't post up at all. He this was a new deal. This was a new post up game that we saw this year from LeBron. He shredded the Oklahoma City defense because he drove and he dished. Okay. He did How, not what kind drive. of defense? When, when he, he wanted was driving. to be a pretty jump shooter against you guys, and it played right into your hands because he's a below average jump shooter from the perimeter. Okay, Skip. So when he was on the post, what were the different defensive schemes that Oklahoma City ran last night? They had they, they used Cephalosha on him. They used Durant on him. When he was in the post, and, and, what were the different defensive schemes that they used? And Ibaka was supposed to come hard. He was and supposed keep him to from come the, hard, And right? he did not come hard. He let LeBron get to the rim repeatedly. And Perkins was nowhere to be seen. I just asked seen. a simple question. Yeah, I just told you. No, you said you so and so was answer. supposed to. No, they they um, they doubled from down, right? Mm -hmm. And they doubled and they passed and they hit their open shots, right? Mm -hmm. When they kept on doubling. They changed, right? Because they passed it, they passed it out. Mike Miller hit open shot, but that's just one example. Did he get the lane against that? you guys last year? Not at all in the fourth why, quarter. Now, why do you play a zone skip? Well, uh, again, I, I've seen him slash up any kind of defense when he feels like it. Skip, one He's of the a things about train. You just said you don't have the athletes that they have. Right, and that's why we play more zone than possibly Oklahoma mm -hmm. City did because we had smarter players, so not necessarily as athletic.